my outfit today just wearing leggings and my uggs and on my palm spring um but yeah it's snowing pretty bad outside and uh, luckily we don't have to go anywhere today but tomorrow we'll be driving up to whistler so that could be an issue <laughs> let's hope the roads are going to be okay tomorrow Well, just to give you an idea, oh, it's slushy. Of this, this snow just accumulated since yesterday morning, I suppose. So it's been two days. And uh, usually in Vancouver, what I've noticed is that the snow doesn't really stay. Like if it does, it will stay maybe. Oh my gosh, what are they doing? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, but basically, uh, usually the snow doesn't stay. It uh, usually just comes and then it kind of melts throughout the day. But this year has been pretty bad because uh, I think it snowed early. First of all, it snowed in December, early December, and then it stayed for the whole month plus. And then, uh, of course, it melted more or less. And then it started all over again yesterday. <laughs> And yeah, we're in the middle of February, so you guys would think that it's normal, but it's not as normal. Well, it's not the norm every year in Vancouver, basically. The other thing about Vancouver also is that snow tires are not mandatory because like I said earlier, the snow doesn't usually stay. And this year has been pretty bad for us, considering. And also, um, Yes, of course the city has to clean up, but they don't normally, in here anyway, in the west coast I know, like where I used to live in Montreal, they do a very very good job at cleaning the streets, even the small streets in uh, the residential areas. But here in Vancouver, uh-uh, no cleaning in small streets, therefore, yeah, it's quite slippery and quite a mess, in fact. And the buses, oh my gosh, the buses yesterday so many accidents apparently there's a total of 30 was it 18 or 13 buses hun, that they said was uh got into an accident 18. yesterday yeah 18 buses can you believe that <laughs> and that's because in the west coast there's a lot more hills and mountains and just slopes compared to uh, the east coast at least compared to where i used to live there is a lot more here and therefore um, just really hard to maneuver with you know big buses like this best food ever any day especially on a cold day like today look at these roads oh my gosh okay we're approaching a turnabout oh no not turnabout roundabout <laughs> just a turnabout because that's the place where i go for consignment See, that's what you deal with when you have like multiple languages in your head. You get confused a lot. So guys, don't mind me if like, well, when I say words that sound weird because I know sometimes I sound French, sometimes I don't even sound French, it just sounds something else and that's just how it is. That's what's going on in my head. Okay, this is the... Okay, we're just doing it for you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Okay, okay, it's over, over, over. Whoa! And guys, kids, don't try that at home, okay? We're just doing it because there's nobody here. And also, my husband is an excellent driver. He's a pro. And we have winter tires. <laughs> just, just in case you guys, whoa. Honey, don't move! <laughs> Just in case you guys didn't know, we actually have winter tires. But it's not by law required here in Vancouver.
quite early, but they only uh, are well. They, they started getting really, really popular when they expanded to Aritzia and also to New York and Italy, uh, which is great because I love the brand. Um, except that I think because the brand is locally from Montreal, and I was from Montreal, so I knew about it. And I think I bought my first macage in 2000, and I want to say 2000 and four or five i can't remember now but yeah i love this jacket this is basically uh like a minus 30 montreal weather winter jacket it's kind of funny because i just saw mel soldera's um, video yesterday about winter wear and she's totally right and totally hilarious about it which you know of course we can relate because i mean i grew up in montreal i lived there for 30 years and i know how the winters are there so yeah so funny but anyway um so yeah this this kind of jacket is kind of overkill for for vancouver but we are on our way to whistler and i am also usually on the colder side so i do get to wear these kinds of jackets uh even in vancouver i would still wear them just maybe not on the daily so yeah i just watched a few videos of all the ladies and youtubes uh, one by one starting to show their talk a little bit while you look at the scenery because it's so beautiful but basically they're both so beautiful for the diorama I'm kind of like thinking hard about it or yeah hubby is is driving real careful because it's so winding windy roads but anyway um, I'm thinking really hard about the diorama just because it's so similar to the boy bag in shape even though it's quite different um, and it's quite a lot more structured in my opinion that um, I'm just worried that the boxiness you know will be something that I'm kind of like gonna get annoyed about oh my gosh this is so beautiful sorry I'm so distracted but it's so beautiful um, and then uh, so yeah I'm thinking twice about it just because the price is quite there quite high quite up there as well not as not quite as expensive as the boy but still and um, there's just so many options out there and the Deauville it's kind of like I think most people like the Diorama more and the Deauville some of you or I think maybe half a good half of you don't recommend it and I can understand I think coming from a point of view of like the fact that it's a denim bag or a canvas bag that it's not as worth it but I'm looking at it as a practical you know point of view because like today I'm using my speedy because I'm trying to use it more but honestly every time I use this bag I get super annoyed and I don't want to keep on saying that because it sounds very negative it's just me because it just maybe is not suitable for me the, the way I want this bag to work out and I'm thinking that the Deauville will solve well solve most of the problem that I'm having at least it won't have a small opening first of all and then it will really be kind of like my second uh, you know have an alternate choice to my Neverfull which I love using whenever I'm traveling or just whenever I want to go shopping or going on a day trip like today just being able to carry my water bottle and stuff like that yes it is not waterproof since it's in canvas or denim but um, I think it will be okay just 
I don't know I really love the look and by the time you see this video I would have posted my Q&A where I have my heart to heart with you guys and just talk about what's going on and why I'm selling certain bags and why my collection is still moving around it's because I I find that you know I need to not only just look at bags from the resale value point of view but also just from the point of view of me just loving it and I think I will love the Deauville basically I what I'm thinking is that it would still be a great bag for me just because I, I won't think about selling it since I I will think about using it. I'm not sure how many of you are living in a really warm climate. I know my my girl Kat L from Singapore and Malaysia. Hey, if you're watching, um, I know that you uh, have never seen snow. So there you go, lots of snow for you. <laughs> By the way, I'm shouting out to a lot of my friends here because uh, yeah, you guys have been really helpful and just nice to chat with about anything I guess bags or opinions and stuff like that so uh, and also I want to shout out to Catherine is a cat she's also uh, well I'm sure you guys know her too she's she has an awesome collection she has awesome taste um, and of course there's Amy Jo you guys know her so yeah oh it's beautiful I think this is my first time driving to Whistler in the winter like my husband was saying this is his this is actually his first time physically driving to Whistler by himself jack it up
Canadian breakfast and what, what I mean by Canadian it's like Tim Hortons basically <laughs> that's our Canadian breakfast and coffee I love Tim Hortons though I love their coffee I think every place every coffee place should offer the 18% cream because that's the best I cannot have coffee I can have I can have coffee without sugar but not without like the nice nice heavier cream 10% just doesn't cut it you see guys oh it's kind of too late but that was awesome they had like super thick tires on their bikes so we're turning into industrial way see the mountains are so nice because ooh, slippery we're going to Tim Hortons for our breakfast first meal of the day well first meal for me hubby ate a little bit of cereal when he woke up too early for me to eat <laughs> I was still asleep in my head my body was awake but my head was actually asleep <laughs> we're just talking about car wash because I never washed my car I'm too lazy I mean I'm actually too lazy to bring it in to the gas station to get it washed it only takes maybe like 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> but apparently my husband did it for me once in the summer at least <laughs> so what are we gonna have coffee for sure we're getting number five with sausage English muffin Come on. husband is already eating his <laughs> um, yeah and sometimes I do that too I just forget to vlog food because you're so hungry you're always just eating first so here's our coffee we usually uh, get it with half the sugar uh, but at home I don't even put sugar in my coffee and then he's got a donut I don't eat donut so yeah here's my speedy I love you speedy but I hate you too because you look so good but I think we just don't work out egg sausage muffin uh, English muffin that is uh, and yes, that's not gluten free, but we're on the road. What can we do? The roll up the rim to win is back again. I love it when they have that, but we never really win anything special. Just like free coffees or donuts. I guess we should be grateful for anything, <laughs> but we want the Civic.
Whistler Village, guys. Uh, we're just in the parking lot. Um, so beautiful today. Look at these mountains. It's really cold though because there's quite a draft. Although it's a beautiful day. It's not too bad actually. I remember I said that uh, this is a supposedly a minus 30 jacket from Montreal. Well, I feel cold and it's not minus 30 yet. Although, I mean, I do have just one layer of jeans and um, I do have two layers of top so that's my my upper body is pretty warm but my lower body is a little cold <laughs> we're going for lunch and i think we are just yeah getting the parking <laughs> are these your ten dollar boots they're winter boots yeah cool i thought they were just like waterproof boots yeah they're waterproof ten dollars it looks really good for ten dollars uh, got it. Uh, Koali found them at Canadian Tire, so I have Ooh. one too. Do you see the shadow of my outfit? That's why I love this jacket, the, call, the big collar macaw jacket. They're awesome. Well, I think we're getting some beaver tail here. No more uh, beaver tails at Zog apparently, or no more beaver tails at all in Whistler, right? Right. Nope. They removed every. Yep. So yeah, we got fries. On the mountain, it's not. No. How could that be? Anyway, so we got hot fries instead. finally found a mirror so I'm wearing these Clark's uh, waterproof they're kind of like fall winter boots they're not super wintry uh, banana republic jeans um, speedy b25 like I said my jacket all of our people's and that is it I forgot to mention that this little furry thing I actually got in Korea kind of like a little neck warmer with a loop through ball thingy. Maybe I should get some of <laughs> this is a hand warmer and it's activated with uh, I, I guess, guess air. friction. I guess air. so, yeah. The old ones used to have a little tube. Ah. Eight hours. Eight hours. And it goes into that Okay. Pocket. Are you warming? I don't Is it warm? <laughs> wow, look at that. The uh, car has so many icicles coming down the front. We're going to what's that? Oh, you better have studded tires. I said, man. Nah, <laughs> studded tires? Yeah, I said, I got, I got snow tires to keep the roads free. Fairly well plowed up to Whistler. Are you sure you you know what's the end? They don't have beaver tails in Whistler anymore. What? Don't go there. What happened to them? They ran out of beavers. What? They ran out of beavers to cut tails off.
restaurant called Wildflower and um, my lamb was okay, it was good, but I really really love what my husband ordered which was the, um, what is it called again? Prime rib. Oh, prime rib, I always forget. But yeah, it was, I, I highly recommend the prime rib if you guys are big meat eaters um, at the Fairmont. It was so 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 good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along today's vlog with me. It's getting pretty dark, so I'm gonna end it right here. As usual, thank you so much for watching.